We're now going to focus on the next two tools in the toolbar. This would be the screen shade and the full screen. You'll see that the screen shade actually looks like an old-fashioned screen shade you might have had when you were growing up. And the full screen has arrows in each corner to represent that this is going to push out this working area. Working area, when I say that, I mean this large white area in which that you create your pages. So I'm going to go ahead and depress on the full screen so you can see what happens. And you'll see that everything is available to us in a much broader view. We lose our side tab over here. We also lose our toolbar. This is a great view to have if you're going to have students creating um, or participating in an activity and you want to make sure that everyone in the back of the room can see clearly. Now one thing to note, if you are in full screen, you do lose your side page sorter tab. So you can't toggle back and forth between pages. You only can page forward to the next page or previous page. You can get some of your icons by clicking on the three dots. And you can get more toolbar options by choosing the two gray arrows. So this is something more that students would come up and actually use, not necessarily what you would use for an instructional view. And go ahead and click back on this exit full screen, so you see that these arrows, you see that that's easily brought back to your traditional looking notebook area. The screen shade is very simple to use. If you click on the screen shade, it shades everything. And you'll see that they have these little dimples, but you actually do not have to touch them or use them to move your shade. So you may be thinking, why would I use a shade? Let's go on to our next page. I'm going to go up here to next page. This is one way that you can use it. If you have vocabulary words and definitions, you can simply put them both at the same time if you wanted to show that. You could also do it as a simple formative assessment by showing the vocabulary word, maybe having students hold up a white slate or something with a definition, and then you would reveal the definition, the part of speech, and the actual definition to determine if they're accurate. On the next page, an example is an agenda. If you want to show your students the first thing you're going to do and then have them focus on completing that before you show them the next, and then again the third, it's very simple to use the shade for that. The last example, it can be used to cover up an answer key. You'll see that the shade can get very, very small. So students could use this board as a center, and once they're completed using it, they could either depress the red X to get rid of the window shade completely to show the answer key, or they could have moved it off to the side. Again, those two tools are screen shade and full screen.